Hi Floss Tube, I'm Annie and I am the Proper Stitcher and welcome to episode 122. If this is your first time joining me, I am so glad you stopped by today. This is a channel where I like to talk about cross stitch and hopefully give you inspiration to fully finish your projects. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continued support all of your wonderful comments you send my way. I appreciate each and every one of you. So it's been about three weeks since my last video. It was before Easter. So I hope that you all had a wonderful Easter, a beautiful time with family, um, and that you just are having a great start to the spring season. It is the middle of April and it is absolutely beautiful here in Knoxville. I think this is probably the prettiest spring that I have seen in Knoxville in a very long time. We've had some cooler temperatures at night, a lot of rain, and it's just created so much lush and vibrant colors and beautiful dogwoods and all kinds of beautiful scenery. And it is just so much fun and so pretty to see. Um, we are having the Dogwood Arts Festival here in Knoxville. Um, and it's just a fun time to get outside and see all of the beautiful gardens around town and to go downtown and um, just enjoy being outside. So this episode is going to be a little bit longer. It I have um, celebrated our three year floss tube anniversary. That was on April the 1st. So this is going to be our celebratory video. Um, so it's been three years since I started my floss tube channel and I am just so excited to continue to bring you floss tube episodes. And I am so excited to see where the next few years take us on this journey together. So thank you so much for your support. So this video will be a little bit longer. I have made a lot of notes. I have a lot of things I want to share with you. A lot of things I want to make you aware of. Um, I have some whips and some finishes to share. I have a stitch along announcement that I want to bring to your attention. And um, I have some haul. I want to give you some details on a subscription box that I've participated in and then another one that's coming up for next year. And I have some wonderful giveaways for our three year um, floss tube anniversary. And I do have some antique samplers to share with you. So as I always say, grab a pen and paper, grab your favorite beverage and grab your cross stitch and let's get started. First, I wanna start with some life updates. It has been a while and I do like sharing my life updates with you all. Um, Gray will not be home this summer. I've shared that with you. Um, she's decided to take a class, um, a mini term class. So that's between her spring semester and before the full summer semesters begin. So it's a three week class. So she's excited about that, which only my child would be excited about a summer class, but she really is excited about it. She just called us saying, I got the class I wanted. Um, she is working this summer on campus as an intern in the admissions office. So she will not be coming home this summer. She um, will see her over the weekends. We'll probably go up and visit her, which we're really excited about. Um, it'll be a different experience because it's a smaller school and a smaller campus. It's a little bit quieter on campus. So it will be a different experience for all of us, especially her being on campus. Um, but she will finish up her summer internship in early August. And we're going to try to take a family trip before Gray and Tristan both go off to school. Tristan graduates on May 19th. I cannot believe it. Um, it is that time. This year has gone by so fast. I've actually, I think we have 36 days until graduation. Um, I think I'm counting just as much as he is counting. He's actually counting number of school days. I'm counting days until graduation. So, so excited for him and I'm so proud of him to uh, have 
to, to get to this point. You know, I realize that all your children are different. All your children have different capabilities, but Tristan and Gray are completely opposite. Um, Gray is more academic and, and um, organized. Tristan is not as much, but he works very hard. And I am so proud of him that he is where he is and that we are, get to celebrate his graduation. So we're hoping Gray gets to fly home that weekend to be with us for graduation. Um, and then he will leave at the end of June to go, uh, he'll be gone a month again to go for Young Life work crew. So we won't see him for a month in June. So that's gonna be different. It will give us a introduction to what it's gonna be like to be empty nesters. And um, it, that's just exciting. Matt and I have been very busy. He's We've both been busy with work, our day jobs, and proper stitcher stuff. So it's been um, very, very hectic around here. Um, it's been great. I'm excited to get closer to Stitch Florida. I am assisting Alicia with the Fanciful Flamingo um, for a retreat in Florida. Um, she had already started the, the retreat process when she asked me to come on and um, co-host it with her. So that's at the end of July. I will be participating in StitchCon and attending StitchCon Weekend A. I'm so excited to go back to that. It's been two years since I was at StitchCon and I am looking forward to it. It's such a fun retreat. Um, just really excited. So our summer has shaped up to be very busy and very um, just an unusual summer for us. So I'm excited about all of these things. Um, I can't wait to bring more updates to you all. I did want to give you another update. Um, many of you who have been with me for a long time, you are, you've heard me talk about my sister, Lisa. Um, when I first started this floss tube channel, uh, it was probably a few months into my journey that my sister, Lisa, was diagnosed with lung cancer. And um, I shared all of that with you and brought, um, you all gave you updates. You all prayed with me um, for her well-being and for her care and her treatments. And we have, she has just discovered that uh, the cancer is back and it has, um, it is on her vertebrae. So she has not met with the oncologist yet. They're still running all the tests. They're still doing scans and, and PET scans and biopsies and all of these things, but they do know that it is on her vertebrae. Um, she thought that she was finished with all these treatments. They even removed her port. Um, so she does, that's usually kind of a celebratory moment when they remove your, your chemo port because it means you don't have to have chemo anymore. And they removed it a few months ago and she just found out that, um, that the cancer is on her, on her vertebrae. So after they get all of her scans and all of her results, she will have an appointment at the end of the month to come up with a treatment plan. And I just am asking you all to keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Um, this is one of those very unusual cancers, one that caught her by surprise. She, um, did not, um, she had, she, being surprised by having lung cancer. She never expected that. Nobody did, of course. Um, she's never smoked. She's never done any of the things or been in an environment where you would expect to have um, lung cancer. So it caught her by surprise. Um, it was very interesting what, how they found it was when she had COVID. She went to the emergency room. This was um, three years ago. She went to, excuse me, two years ago. She went to the emergency room with COVID and they diagnosed her um, or said that she needed to go and um, see an oncologist that they could see that she had spots on her lung. So please keep her in your prayers. Keep her doctors in your prayers. Keep my um, brother-in-law Dan in your prayers and all of us and just lift her up. She's very positive, um, very um, just positive about this process. Uh, she uh, just is ready to get started on the next phase of treatment. Um, but she is going for a second opinion. So she is asking if, uh, just to get a little bit more information on what they're dealing with this time around. So thank you all for, for your support and for praying for her. I am a firm believer in the power of prayer. So uh, let's just keep my sister Lisa in your prayers. So let's go over my whips that I have been working on. I um, haven't shared um, any some of these whips with you 
at all. Two of them are new starts. One of them is a whip that I've pulled back out and I have one finish to share with you today. So let's get started. I'm so excited. Let's start with the finish. I'm sure y'all can take a guess of what this finish will be. This is the Scarlet House. Um, floral motif sampler. I have been sharing this with you all for a long time and I just kept getting closer and closer to a finish. So for a really long time, I really only focused on this. When I had free time to stitch, if I wasn't model stitching, I was stitching on this. So here it is, fully finished floral motif sampler. And I have to say that this is one of my favorite stitches that I've ever done. I'm standing up because I want to get closer. So here it is. And this is one that I started and I've had to look it up and to see when I started this. I started this in October, 2022. Nope, 2021. So that's how long I've been working on this, uh, on and off, of course. Um, but this has just been um, a joy to work on every little, Every little motif is like a little finish. And I have just learned so much about color, about um, floral motifs, and about uh, just the, the beauty of stitching on 40 count. So that, because I'm using one strand of floss. So I stitched this on 40 count, um, stitched it on Picture This Plus Mallow, um, and I used one strand of floss over two. I used all the call for colors. But the one strand of floss on 40 count just is my favorite um, stitch. It's just so pretty. And I had to say, I got the idea for doing the 2024 like this from uh, someone on Instagram. I can't remember who. I'll have to look it up. But someone on Instagram had just finished this as well. And this was the, the original was designed and stitched in... 2021 so and there was not a number chart or an alphabet chart in here so it was hard to squeeze in the the four but i used her uh on instagram i used her um example <laughs> so here it is floral motif sampler i did put um my initials a t for annie turner um, I wanted it to do 2024. Someone had mentioned that um, I used last year's 2023 or even the year I started it. And I just ultimately decided since it's already April, four months into this year, that it just felt right to use 2024. I am going to have this framed. I'm going to take it to Ramona at Bennett, which is where I take all of my framing. And I am going to frame this with no glass. Uh, that's just how I do all of my framing now. It's just no glass. I, I'm okay with that. Um, I'm not worried about it. And I'm so excited to have this one done. I just love all of these colors. I will take some detailed photos and share them on my Facebook page and on my Instagram page, but I highly recommend this stitch for, um, for you to stitch. I don't know, here's all the colors. So I used all of the called for gentle arts. There was one color that was a week's color, but there is a DMC conversion. Um, I Both are gonna be beautiful. But I used all of these colors and it was just fun to play with all of the colors. But I will take some up close photos so you can see it. Each one is so unique and so different and the colors just really pop and shine and are beautiful. So pretty, so pretty. So that is my fully finished. I haven't had one in a long time. So it was a big celebration when I finished this one. I'm so excited. Um, and it's just such a beautiful chart. I've said it before. It's one that you can pull little motifs out. If you wanna make a little gift for someone, you can pull out one little motif and make a little pin keep for someone and put their initials or put your initials or make a pin book or a drum or a top or just so many things. It's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So this one I will share with you as soon as I get it framed, I'll, I'll let you see what it's gonna look like. And then of course it'll probably be on my bookshelves. So that is the Scarlet House Floral Motif Sampler, fully finished. My next whip that I've been working on 
I started. I really, after I finished Floral Motif Sampler, I wanted to start something small. So I went through my stash and I'm starting the Chessie and Me American Coast. This is a kit that I had in my stash. I think I got it at a retreat a long time ago. And it came as a kit. So it came with little, uh, a little packet of floss. Uh, these are silk flosses. And I did not want to use the the fabric that came with it because it was it was such a small cut it wouldn't even fit in my hoop and I stitch in a hoop um, I can stitch in hand but I like the way my stitches lay better uh, when I use a hoop or a Q snap so I decided to use uh, what I had in my stash which this is Atomic Ranch Freeze and this is not a very exciting start, but I did the out, I did the border. And the border is so pretty. It's stitched in Smyrna crosses. So that was a lot of fun to play with those. And a Smyrna cross is super easy. I think I'm going to start using some of those in my um, designs, but and I'll and I'll do a video on how to do a Smyrna cross. But here's basically what a Smyrna cross is. So you're doing a cross, a regular X, and then you're just doing a plus across right on the top of the cross, on top of the X. So easy. Um, it's a great alternative if you don't want to do an eyelet stitch or if you're an Ada stitcher. It's just it's another alternative. But this was so much fun to start on. So now I can work my way into the center and have a little patriotic stitch. So that one I started, um, haven't worked on it in the, in the probably two weeks, but it was a very quick border to stitch. I did that in one night. So um, now, the, now the hard part's done. I can now fill in the, the middle of the, the border or the middle of the piece. And then my next one, new start, is a hands-on design bluebird sampler i got this a few years ago when i was up at keeps keepsakes um when i was there for stitch con uh two years ago 2022 so i love heart and hand this is something that i've been wanting to do for a while and i just pulled it out this one comes with little beads because there are oh, i'm showing you the pattern i'm so sorry but there are um beads in here so here's my start and this does take two skeins and it tells you that on the pattern. It takes two skeins of Classic Colorworks um, Chesapeake Bay. Of course, you can do any color you want, but I love Chesapeake Bay. It's a beautiful color. So here's the blue and it does take two skeins. The reason I stopped stitching this was because I ran out of Chesapeake Bay and had to wait for it to come in. So in probably one evening, I stitched all the, all the alphabet and then the next night I went in and did the rest. So I think I have just probably one more evening of stitching. It's a very quick stitch. I am stitching this on, um, let's see, I'm stitching it on 32 count um, cream and sugar by fiber on a whim. And I'm using two strands of floss over two, which is why it goes through a lot of floss, which is why you're going to need two skeins. So if you stitch this on 36 count or 40 count, you probably could do it all with just one skein. But it goes through a lot of floss when you use the, the two strands. So pretty. And then you can also get Redbird Sampler, which is beautiful too. So that has been a lot of fun. I am so excited to get that one done and I will finish it into a pillow to put on my bookshelves or probably downstairs. Maybe I'll spread that one out. So then I decided to pull out my, an old whip that I had um, started a while back. This one, um, another, some other people have started a stitch along with this one, and it sort of reminded me that I had it already started and that I needed to pull it out. But it is a hand across the C, and I did opt for the PDF version of this. So it's Tom's Foolery, which is such a fun sampler with all those colors. And I um, am so excited to get this back started again and I bought when I got this I got all the the silk floss so this is just a joy to stitch on um, I went to um, hoop and frame online and got the full kit and you can do that you can go online and get the full kit so all of the colors look at these colors so pretty so much fun so excited to get started on this but my little bitty start 
is the border. So you can see that it has been a while since I have worked on this. So I'm gonna pull it back out and get this going. I am stitching it on 40 count. I cannot remember what floss, I, I mean, what fabric I am using. I think it came in the kit. Uh, it's 38 count Brewer's Malt. It came in a kit. So it's 38 count is what I'm stitching it on. So one strand of floss over two. So pretty. So that one will take a while. It's another one that will be in my whip basket for a long time, but it's been a lot of fun. So while we're talking about whips, I want to tell you about a stitch along that I am co-hosting with um, Alicia with the Fanciful Flamingo and a friend of ours on Instagram, and she uh, has a floss tube channel too, but Jen Nasca. We want to, wanted to start a quick little um, stitch along and everyone's welcome. You can start when you want. You can work on it when you want. No rules. I don't like stitch alongs that have rules or agendas or deadlines and things like that. But I have been obsessed with this book, uh, 12 Days of Christmas um, book from Annie B since I first saw it at market. So this is 12 Days of Christmas uh, Stockings by Annie B's Folk Art. And um, our rooms were next door to each other at market. And so I got to go in every day and look at her models of these stockings. And they were absolutely beautiful and adorable. And I loved it. And I, I like to stitch anything 12 Days of Christmas. It's always been one of my favorites. I have several sets of cross stitch pieces that are 12 Days of Christmas. So this one is so exciting to add to my collection because it is actual stockings and they're smaller and the colors are so vibrant. But this booklet, it has all 12, it has a template in the back on how to finish the stockings. Um, looks super easy. They're all stitched on Ada, 14 count Ada, and she uses all DNC floss. So I have pulled all of my floss. I just went through my stash and I have pulled all of my floss. I haven't made them pretty and put them on floss rings yet, but that will come later but I wanted to go ahead and pull all of the floss. So here are all the colors. And I had two in my stash that were already on bobbins, the red and the gold, but so pretty, all of these colors. And I just love that they're all DMC. And so I called Johnson City, uh, the store in Johnson City, Cross Stitch and Crafts, to have them send me some fabric because I'm trying to decide what fabric I wanna use for them for stitching all of these. So if you're stitching 12, you wanna make sure it's fabric that you like. And I am gonna stitch it on the black. So I had them send me a, a 10 inch square of the black Ada. And I had them send me a 10 inch square. So the Ada is 14 count. And then they sent me 28 count black. I think this is a Zweigart black. And after looking at them and trying to decide what I want to do, normally I would say I would go with a 28 count, but I've decided to go with the 14 count. And the reason why, the 14 count Black Ada, the reason I decided to do this is because um, this is because I'm going to do 12 of these. I want to make sure it's something that I can really enjoy and see. And I think because this, the Ada is sturdier and stiffer, I think it's going to be easier to finish them into the stockings. And I thought if Annie did it, Annie B's did it, and then there must be a reason why she chose the Ada. So I'm going to have Amy at Cross Stitch and Crafts cut 10 inch squares of the Ada for me, uh, just so I have enough for, uh, of, of, to, of a border to play with and to put it in my hoop. And the finished size of each stocking, they are, let me see, the stockings are, and she does use some beads in these, but all of these stockings, I don't know if I know the sizes of them, but I, but a 10 inch square is plenty of fabric. Here we go. So the complete template, and she does have very detailed instructions on how to finish this into a stocking, but I'll tell y'all the, the stitch count and everything of it next time. But, oh, here we go. All the stockings are 50 stitches wide by 67 stitches high. And when they're finished, it is four inches by five and an eighth inch. So super quick, super easy, but a 10 by 10 square is more than enough uh, needed for stitching on this. But like I said, I wanted to have plenty of room 
for finishing and to have room to put this in my hoop. So this starts on May the 1st. If you are interested in joining us, of course, you can start anytime you want. You can start now. You can start in June. But we thought that we would give everyone a few weeks time to go ahead and get their supplies if you want to join us. Um, it'll give me time to get more Ada. And I am so excited. I just love those stockings. And I'm hoping that if I do two a month, then hopefully by December, I can have them finished. So I hope you join us. And Annie, thank you so much for a, a wonderful, wonderful booklet. It is a beautiful booklet. Before we start talking about my haul and gifts that I have received, I want to apologize because you're going to be hearing Bella. Bella is snoring. Um, that poor girl, she is getting older and I should have put her up before I started recording, but she was too cute and cozy where she was sleeping. I did not want to disturb her, but we can tell that she's getting, she's starting to show her age. She's getting a little bit older. She's losing some weight. Her face is getting a little bit old, older and grayer and her eye is getting cloudy, but, um, she is the sweetest, sweetest little dog. Scout's sweet too, but Bella's the one you're hearing right now, snoring. So ignore that. Uh, one of these days I'll bring them back on for a video so you can get uh, say hello and get an update on Bella and Scout. So let's go into my haul. Um, it's kind of all over the place. Most of this is uh, for designing or for um, just gifts that were sent to me. So I did get some more trim from Lady Dot Creates. I needed some trim for um, some subscription boxes that I was working on and for model stitching. So Lady Dot Creates has amazing trim and I decided since I was needing trim that's that's been used, I don't have it to show you today, but I thought I can't just order one rickrack, so I went ahead and ordered multiple colors. So I got Grape Fizz rickrack, which is a really pretty purple. Grape Fizz, Olive Branch, and snow, which is just a, a, a stark white. The other white that she has is called Vintage, and it has um, more of a grungy look to it, but it is a really pretty color um, if you're not wanting something stark white. But this is stark white, so that's snow. Lois at Lady Dot Creates is amazing. She ships fast, her product's great. She has the chenille trim, she has pom-poms, she has velveteen, and she has rickrack. Everything I'm showing you, I will list and link below. So if you're interested, you can go and check it out. Um, I do belong to the Fine Floss Club at Fat Quarter Shop. And this month, our color was Mossy Green. So I got five shades of green for the March Club, actually. I'm excited to see what they send for April. This is a great club. They have several clubs, but it's a great club to build up your stash in, whether it's silk floss or over dyed floss. Just a wonderful club to participate in. You can also cancel it at any time. And then I got from um, Teresa with Jersey Girl Stitch Company. She sent us, or sent me, um, the pins for Strength and Dignity. I'm going to insert a photo here or here. I don't, I'm not sure which side, but I'm going to insert a photo so you can see the pin in the actual model of Strength and Dignity. As you can see, I don't have my models on my shelf right now. Um, they are all away at trunk shows, and I'll give you all more details on that in just a minute. But Teresa with Jersey Girl Stitch Company sent me these pins for Strength and Dignity, and they are available on her website. It is named Strength and Dignity. So if you're looking for push pins for the pillow of Strength and Dignity, my spring release design, go and check out Teresa's website. She does beautiful pins, and these make a beautiful addition. But I, like I said, I've inserted the photo so you can see what it looks like in the pin. I also shared it on Instagram and on my Facebook page. It's just amazing. She does a beautiful job. This will also be offered as one of the giveaways today. So strength and dignity pin from Teresa at Jersey Girl Stitch Company. And she also sent me a gift. This is a little um, fob or a zipper pull. It's a beautiful dog wood. Thank you, Teresa. That is so sweet of her. Um, I did get a new bag, a surprise gift from Tammy Blaylock with um, Creative Country Girl. She sent me this bag made out of the French General fabric that it was released this um, March. 
and I think the name of this collection is called Antoinette, but it is so pretty. And this is a beautiful little piece of um, eyelet trim that she put on there. Such a pretty bag. So this is Creative Country Girl, Tammy Blaylock, and I'll link her website below, but I love this blue. That is my absolute favorite out of the whole collection. So pretty. And I um, had a wonderful experience. Um, I got to go to, um, someone's house who lives here in town. Her name is Darlene, and she's also uh, an antique reproduction um, designer. And her and I've shared some of her stuff before. Her company's called The Marking Sampler, and I'll link it below. But she uh, invited me to her house to have tea and to just visit, and she asked for me to bring my new uh, my new antique samplers that I just recently received, and I got to see her collection, her um, antique sampler collection. And when I say that it was jaw dropping and antique um, museum quality, not antique, sorry, museum quality samplers, just her room, her hallway leading to her room, it was her her studio was just absolutely impressive just so pretty her 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 antique sampler collection is just absolutely beautiful but and it was such a joy but she gave me this as a gift this is from needlework press and this says may the hinges of friendship never rust and she gave that to me as a um just a little happy present but it is an adaptation of an undated antique monochromatic spot motif sampler so pretty but this is from Needlework Press, and it is, uh, I think, available now for purchasing. And then I got some pins from a friend of mine, Kathy Pintar. She, her name of her company is called Compliment the Season, and she contacted me a while back about starting her own pin company for making these decorative pins. So these are little safety pin type things, and this is a five-inch pin decorative pin and she does not have a website but i will link her instagram below i think she's going to start doing some trunk shows but uh just so sweet i just love to see um more people bringing their talents to share with all of us so thank you kathy for sending me those pins and i did get some easter cards i got one from shelly fry my good friend shelly she sent me a beautiful easter card thank you shelly and my other friend Ruth sent me a, a wonderful Easter card too. Just very thoughtful. And yesterday I got um, some fabric in the mail from Hometown Needleworks. Hometown Needleworks is a shop in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and she also dyes fabric. So she sent me some 40 count fabric. I was on the phone with her because I sent her a trunk show for her um, grand opening. It's actually this weekend. And I was telling her that I needed some 40 count for some model stitching. So she sent me some swatches of hers that she has dyed just to give me an idea of some of her fabric. So this is 40 count. Oh, what color is it? Let me get my glasses. This is 40 count natural, which is a good, just a good natural color. And this one is also 40 count, and this is antique, so it's sort of a creamy. And then we have two more. This one is Old World, which is a nice, uh, it's also another nice neutral color. And this one is natural, also 40 count. So I'll link her um, information below. She has a, a full brick and mortar store, cross stitch store, but she also dyes fabric. So go and check out her uh, shop or call her if you need anything, she'll be happy to ship it to you. So let's take a quick break. When I come back, we will talk about subscription box. So I wanted to take a quick um, moment to go over some subscription boxes that uh, you can be on the lookout for. One I've already mentioned to you all and the registration for it has closed, but it was for Alicia with the Fanciful Flamingos, My Favorite Things box. And that box that she asked me to be a designer for um, is for her May box. And the registration for it just closed. Um, she opened it up again, but it closed again. So 
it just closed and that goes out in May. Super excited about that box. The pattern that is released in that box will not be available for, I will not make it available until uh, later in the summer. So it is such a beautiful box, but if you want more information about Alicia's uh, My Favorite Things box, and she made an announcement about another box that I'll tell you about, but if you want more detailed information, um, she did a wonderful interview or Nicole Spore did a wonderful interview with Alicia, uh, last week. I will link it below. Go and watch the interview. She, Alicia is also going to do a video giving you all of the ins and outs on subscription boxes and how to order them, how to update your order, how to cancel your order, what to expect, all of those Q and A type, um, questions on subscription boxes. But because she's announced this, it's okay for me to announce it. She is also starting a sampler series box and it is a beautiful box um, that will be a little bit uh, different from her My Favorite Things box. It's gonna be sampler oriented. Um, the items that will be in that box are going to be uh, more curated around that specific sampler. So it'll either be the fabric and the floss or, or some way of finishing it, it or just many different ways, but she is going to give you all that information, but she has asked me to do the one for January. The, um, she starts, she's starting it in September for sampler September, the first designer to release, um, for that, for her inaugural, um, signature series, I think is what she's calling it. That box, the registration will open, I believe in May, or she's, I think she's opening it up in May. Again, go check out her, her interview. But the first designer for that one in September, it's going to be Little Robin Designs. Beautiful sampler, amazing box. And then she asked me to do one for January. So the registration for the one in January will open up in October. So the best way to stay informed, of course, I will remind you as it gets closer for when my registration opens for my box, um, but go and check out Alicia's channel, The Fanciful Flamingo. Go and watch her um, interview with Nicole Spore. It's just a, a wonderful, a wonderful interview. And it gives you just an idea of what's going on in not only the floss tube community, but also in the cross stitch community. Uh, so many exciting things. I've said it so many times. There's room at the table for everyone, whether you are opening a brick and mortar store or whether you're opening an online store or you're starting to design or you're starting to make um, pins or you're wanting to dye fabric or you're wanting to create subscription boxes or any number of things. It makes me so happy to see that there is room at the table for everyone, that there is um, so much out there in our community and so many ways of supporting each other. And there is something for everyone. So whether it's something that someone's designing, you know, you may like their designs, but not someone else's. It just, there's, there is so much um, there's just so much, uh, variations in what's available to you. And it's just, I love seeing, um, new, new up and coming things come to our industry and our community. So go and watch Nicole Spore's interview with Alicia, go and watch Alicia's of Floss Tube, and just keep an eye out on all these new, uh, designers and new, um, subscription boxes and new stores and all these new things coming to our, a community. It is exciting. It means that we're thriving and it means that we're growing and that is what we want for our community. So I'm going to take a quick break. We're going to come back and I'm going to show you some antique samplers. So it's been a while since I have shared any of my antique samplers with you. As I mentioned, I took down all of my bottles off of my shelves. So I have decorated my shelves this time with some of my antique samplers, which is fun. Um, sometimes I keep them on my wall. Some are on shelves. Some are um, if they're not framed, they're placed in acid-free paper and in an acid-free museum box. Um, but I, I like being able to share them with you and have them out for you to see too. Uh, but it's, they, so they do have glass on them, the, the framed ones. So if you're seeing a glare, I apologize. It's just the lighting. Um, many of you have been with me long enough to know that this is not my original uh, setup that I had as a floss tube channel. Uh, this is, uh, we sold our house uh, a couple of years, two years ago, and it was, I had a, an amazing room set up for recording. I had a lot of natural light. I did not even need a um, any sort of artificial lighting. I had amazing lighting in that room. Well, now that I'm in a different location, um, which I'm so thankful to have, I'm not complaining at all, but I have to use 
uh, other light sources. And um, there, sometimes you will see a glare behind me. It's just because I have glass on my doors. There's just no way for me to get around that. So um, you will see some glare and some lighting on the, the glass on the frames. But I'm so excited to be able to have them out and show them to you. Maybe next week I'll do a um, video of the uh, antique samplers I have on display this time. But I want to share with you some new, new to me antique samplers that I got over the last few weeks. So this first one, I am going to have to put my glasses on. And I have not done any research on any of these. So the first one is Harriet Reeves 1863. And this is one I got online. And um, let me, I'm going to pause and get something to put behind it. This might make it a little bit easier for you to see. So this is Harriet Reeves. 1863 and this is this was a surprise to me when I got it in the mail because when I looked at it online it was in an old grungy frame and it was not a good photo so I did not know what I was getting I did not have any idea of the quality um I just took a chance and I was pleasantly surprised when I saw this. So I asked that it be removed from the frame because the frame I could tell it was just going to add weight to the transportation. I asked that they remove it from the frame and securely uh, ship it to me without the frame. And I'm so glad I did um, because it, it, I think it helped it travel a little better, but I love the butterflies and look at the blue and creamy white motifs and pots in here. I'm gonna turn it over so you can see the back. And it is just going to be so much fun to look at under a magnifying lamp and get more um, details on this. I love the simplicity of it. I love the border in the middle here, this, this band and the butterflies and the blue and white. It, and I could see, even though the photo was really bad, I could tell that the blue was going to really be something that I wanted to see more of because we all know I love blue. But this was such a sweet surprise when I got it uh, in the mail. So that one uh, is called Harriet Reeves, 1863. And some of these, I'm going to kind of not show you a detailed image of them because I want to keep some things um, as a surprise for you for when I do eventually do something with this, with them, um, because I want to keep some things a secret. But this one was also in a frame. I asked that they remove it from the frame because the frame was damaged. Uh, it was big and chunky, and uh, it, I just didn't see any point in it's dusty now. I didn't see any point in um, paying the shipping on a frame that was damaged and that could run the risk of it damaging the sampler. So this one is very unique. This one is called Lydia Frisk 1822. I do have a little bit of history on this one and I will share it with you at another time. But this one I got because one, I could see the colors were going to be something that I was going to be excited about but I wanted all of the motifs I wanted to see these motifs this is like a motif sampler just so many little happy surprises in here I mean this is beautiful right here um, just the detail of these floral motifs here and then all the way down here we have her name it is almost, it seems like it's stitched on silk and it is stitched using silk. Here's the back of it. The greens and the blues and the golds are exquisite. Um, one that I am just so excited to play with and um, bring to you all. This one will more than likely be a reimagined sampler because it is rather large. Um, I might reproduce it as it is, but for model stitching and for um in the immediate future it'll probably be used for motifs uh and reimagined that border is so pretty and look at this guy up here sorry for the paper but i wanted you to be able to see it 
Look at him. It's like he's walking his dog. I just love it. And then these hearts are beautiful. There's a heart here and one over here. The birds are pretty. There's just so much to explore with this one. Um, each, each motif is unique and different. The colors are beautiful. The silk is just beautiful. I just love this little basket with the creams and the blues. This, so, so pretty. Lots of stars. I'm sorry, I keep putting it down and picking it up. But look at this right here. Absolutely amazing. And the crowns, so much fun. So this one is called Lydia Frisk. The next one actually was a, was not the one that I was going for. Um, it came in a lot, so there were two samplers together. I'll show you the other one last. Um, so this one did not have my attention. I wanted the other one. This one was just a bonus sampler. So this is kind of fun. This is called Ann Carter, 1879. And I don't know if I'll do anything with it, but it's just fun to see, to see all these colors and all the different type of um, letters. Here's the back of it. And this also was in a frame and, and it was removed before it was shipped to me. The next one, I, I need to clean up the frame a little bit, but I'm going to save and do that um, at a later date. I probably should have done a little bit better job before I show this to you. There was, there's still some tape on the, on the glass um, to protect it. I wanted this one left in the frame. So this one is called Millier, M-I-L-L-I-E-R Brown is her name. And there is glass, so there will be a glare. I will try to um, move or position the glass so you don't get so much of a glare. What caught my attention for this one, or in this one, let me do it like this, um, the blues, of course. The blues and the golds and the greens. But there's a pig. And I absolutely fell in love with this. And this is one that I am going to really take out of the frame and study it and see what I can find out about it. I think I have some information on her. It is in the original frame, it appears. Um, and it is a sweet little sampler. Um, but it is it is such a joy. I see, I see little doggies. I see um, the house is amazing. So this one was such a joy. This one I was really excited to see. The next one is a Scottish sampler and the frame is dirty. I do need to get it out of the frame. This is not a very good frame for it, but this is one that I felt like it needed to stay in the frame for shipping. But this one has a lot going on, a whole lot going on. Um, one that will require quite a bit of studying. But what caught my attention with this was the house. It looks like it has a window or a skylight in the roof, which was very interesting to me. And then this flower here was just amazing. And then the basket of strawberries, I just loved everything about this from here down. It was just amazing. And then all of the eyelet stitching, just so much to take in on this one. So this one will be one that I will take out of the frame and play with. You can see it's not in good shape at all. Lots of crowns, lots of red, really pretty. This next one is also in a kind of a, a badly damaged frame, but I will get it uh, out when, I, when, I, when I'm ready to reproduce it. But this one is, it is not, um, dated and it is not uh, marked with anyone's name. I don't know if it's a piece of a, of a sampler. Um, I'm not sure if it was someone's just um, practicing their motifs. You can't see it, but the lighter colors, there's a dog here and then the bird. There is the initial of an S, but just beautiful, all of the colors. Um, very soft pinks, soft blues and greens. 
um, cannot wait to look at the back of this one. You can even see here, one of the nails came loose from within the frame and it's stuck right there. So this one will come out of the frame um, and we'll look at it a little bit uh, in more detail. Maybe that'll be a separate floss tube all on its own. Just me taking some of these out of the frame. So those are all of my exciting goodies, all of my uh, new to me uh, antique samplers and um, just such a joy and so, so much um, fun. And I can't wait to dive deeper into these. I've been a little bit too busy doing other things to really take these out. It's going to require um, a clean desk and lots of time to sit and really look at these. Um, but a lot of fun and I can't wait to bring them to you. So let's take a quick break. When I come back, we'll get into some giveaways. So as I mentioned, I have um, th some of my models, three separate trunk shows are out right now. And that is the first time that I have sent my models out uh, to a trunk show. It's a little unsettling because I've not done this before, but I'm so excited because it means that we have three different trunk shows for you to see. One is currently at Hometown Needleworks in Green Rapids, um, excuse me, in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'll list uh, that shop below. Um, that is Renita, and that is her um, new store just opened, and she's having her grand opening this weekend. Uh, the other two, one is going to, or is um, at Needle Bling Designs a Retreat, which is happening, I think, at the end of the month. So it's at their trunk show for their retreat attendees. And then my other trunk show is at the Library Stitchers Retreat, which is next weekend, and that is held in Maine. So I am so excited that these trunk shows are out in the wild so that um, you all can see them if you're attending in any of those events and, and let me know what you think. I'm excited for, for the models to be out there. It's, um, it's funny, it's kind of like you're sending your children out on their own and you just, you know, you hope they're okay. Sounds silly, but that's just the way I feel. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited that they're out there. I will, they will be at other retreats and stores over the next few months. So I'll let you know uh, where they're going next. So thanks for um, asking to have one of my truck shows. So, okay, so now let's talk about giveaways. Last time I asked you all to share with me your favorite thing about spring. I have the winners announced for that, ready to announce for that. And I have some giveaways this time for our three year floss tube anniversary. So I am so excited. Thank you all so much for um, supporting my channel and for coming back every time. I will come to you more regularly. Um, I'm sorry for the last three weeks not being here, but it's just been crazy with life and everything else. I don't like being away that long. So I would rather come to you all, even if it's just for a 10 or 15 minute quick update then to go three weeks again so I will get back <clears throat> on my regular schedule of every Thursday or Friday starting now excuse me so let's go into the giveaways <coughs> my allergies have also started acting up <laughs> Matthew said that he could hear me sneezing he was outside on the back porch and I was up here working he's like I can hear you sneezing it's just that time of year. Okay, so let's go over the winners for last time. So last time, um, we just decided to do, I decided to do uh, PDFs. So there are 10 of you. I'm going to call your names. Email me and um, let me know which of my patterns you would like uh, as a PDF. And before I forget, there is an update. I will have my spring releases on my Etsy shop um, next week. So I will announce the date. I need to look at the calendar, but I think it's going to be April the 21st is when I'm going to have them on my Etsy shop. I like to give shop owners plenty of time to sell the inventory that they've purchased from me um, in their stores before I make it available on my Etsy shop. So it, it will be on my Etsy shop April 21st. I will um, have a video before then to confirm, but I believe that's the date. I will have all my new spring patterns available as paper copies and as PDF copies. So the winners from last time, we have Deborah Quilts 8030, Jilly Bean L66, Roberta Carruthers 7568, Angelina Castaneda, C-A-S-T-A-N-E-D-A, 1101. Carrie Hunter, 6865. Maureen Malarkey, 
M-U-L-L-A-R-K-E-Y, 1653. Susan Gutro, G-A-U-T-R-E-A-U-X, 996. Tanya Parente, P-A-R-E-N-T-E, 6176. Deb Wilner, 5598. And Deborah Delisle, D-E-L-I-S-L-E, 35. If I called your name, send me an email and uh, let me know which PDF you would like a copy of and I will attach it to the email. So um, I hope I'm not forgetting anything that I wanted to share with y'all. Um, it just happens that way. I have so much that I want to share with you. It's like I, I keep, it's hard to keep it all um, organized. So let's go into the giveaways this time. So this time um, we have some very generous gifts that were given to me to share with you. Um, first, I want to tell you how giveaways work. Be a subscriber, like the video, and answer the question below and list the number that you would like to be entered to win. I do my drawings every video, so if it's a week within the videos, then it's a week. If it's three weeks, then you have three weeks. Um, but And then I give you two videos to claim your prize. If you haven't claimed it in two, two videos, then um, if it is an actual hard um, giveaway, it will go back into the giveaway basket. So this month is my 50th birthday month. <laughs> uh, my birthday is on April 25th. There are lots of birthdays this month. Actually, before I forget too, um, Stephanie, who is the New England Stitcher, happy birthday month to you. Her birthday is April the 1st and she started a birthday style of strength and dignity. So go and watch the New England Stitcher and wish her a happy birthday month. I believe that you celebrate your birthday the entire month. And I got that from my grandmother, my grandmother Lois. Um, I called her Mama and uh, she is who Gray is named after. Her maiden name was Gray and I knew if I was having a boy or a girl, we were going to use the name Gray. And Gray happens to be my daughter's middle name. So it is um, my grandmother, it was my grandmother's maiden name. So. But my grandmother, she wanted to celebrate her birthday the whole month. She tried celebrating it for one day and she told us that just wasn't long enough because you have people who wanna take you to lunch or to dinner or to, you know, to celebrate with you, but you can't squeeze everyone in in one day. So she tried for one week. Well, lo and behold, one week was not long enough for her either. She was very social. And so one week was just didn't cut it. So she changed it to the entire month and her birthday was in November. So miss her so much, miss her every day. She was just a joy and she kept us laughing all the time, but she celebrated her birthday the whole month. So I do the same. So my birthday is coming up April 25th and it is um, my 50th birthday. It's just hard to believe. So I um, want to ask you to tell me what is your favorite birthday memory? Your uh, One of your fondest birthday memories that you have. That is your question this week. So leave that comment below. Tell me your favorite birthday memory, your um, fondest memory of your birthday, any, any of your birthdays. It can be more than one. I love reading your comments. So like the video, answer the question, and uh, then use the corresponding number for what you'd like to be entered to win. And I do use a random comment picker for um, the selecting the winners. So the first thing that is offered, and I don't have an actual copy to show you, so I'm gonna insert a photo here. Um, April Jackson, who is the Crafty Blue Bonnet, um, she is a designer and she does a beautiful job. She has offered three PDFs um, to three people, oh, excuse me, one PDF, but three of you will win. So you get to go to her Etsy shop, look at her designs and choose a copy of her, um, pattern that she will send to you in a PDF format. She does amazing, amazing designs. She does the spools. Um, she also does bigger pieces and she does not have a YouTube channel, but she has an Etsy shop and she has an Instagram page. And I will link both of those below so you can go and check that, that out. But you get, there are three winners and you all get to pick one of her patterns and she will send it to you. She said, she, I asked her, would you be willing to send me or, or offer a giveaway? She's like, 
no, but I'll give you three because it's for three years. And so I was like, thank you. So she's so sweet and she is just a, a delight. She also has an interview with Nicole Spore from two interviews ago. I'll link that below too. It's fun to watch, to hear her story. She and her daughter Haley started designing over a year ago and they are, I've known them. She reached out to me when she started designing and introduced herself and I've just gotten, I've just, enjoyed getting to know her and becoming a good friend of hers so go and check out her etsy shop and so that's number one so i told you all of that to say that's number one that's the number one giveaway number two is from a uh, noteworthy needle and this is the tiny treasure box series this is the tooth fairy box and janice was so nice to give these to me at market to use as a giveaway so this is noteworthy needle number two that's the number two number three is also a noteworthy needle this is a token from me to the box and in this in this pattern you get the directions on how to finish these into these boxes so this is number three number four is charming couple from noteworthy needle this is a sampler and you custom and personalize this to your family to your couple and it has charms so this is a great piece i will make sure that when i send this to you that it is protected so it doesn't bend but this is charming couple number four number five is charming child same thing you customize it to your uh, child that you want to um, memorize or to to represent in the sampler and it also comes with the charms so this is number five Number six is from my friend Bonnie of the Nebby Needle, and this is Voice of the Garden, number six, and it says the hum of the bees is the voice of the garden, and it is such a pretty, I've seen this one in person, it's really pretty. Also from the Nebby Needle is number seven, this is Polly Nader's Garden, really pretty. She's had this finished into a big pillow, so that's number seven. Number eight is we have three stockings from JBW, uh, four stockings from JBW Designs. So we have a sampler stocking. We have a Danish stocking. We have a British stocking, excuse me, a Bristol stocking and a Stitchers stocking. So that's number eight, you get all four of those. Number nine is from um, Teresa with Jersey Girl Stitch Company, and you get a set of the Strength and Dignity pins. These are so pretty. Um, they, they really do look beautiful in the Strength and Dignity um, pillow if you finish that design into a pillow. So thank you, Teresa. So this is Strength and Dignity decorative pins, and she will mail that directly to you. And then number 10, is 10 excuse me number 10 is from me and it is seven of you will win one pdf of your choice from my etsy shop so seven of you so number 10 i'll choose seven winners for number 10. so that's 10 giveaways um for uh, this week's video sort of my thank you for saying thanks for waiting for me for three weeks for another video but also thank you for um watching my channel for three years. I can't believe it's been three years and I'm so excited um, to continue to bring you Floss Tube and to bring you channel uh, episodes every week and um, see where we go from here. I really do appreciate you all so much. So I'm gonna link everything below um, for you to go and check out all of the things we have talked about. So I will see you all next week for Floss Tube 123. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful weekend and enjoy the spring weather and get some good stitchy time in.